Hello family, welcome back to the channel, home of the RC community and home of the Patreon that offers the most value out there. Okay, if you're interested in the Patreon, the links will be in the description in the comments as well as the links for uh, the merch, okay? And also, we just got a new feature on the channel. If you look in the descriptions, you will see uh, the little uh, thank you button, okay? Where, where you can make thank you donations. It has the little heart with the uh, the money sign, okay? And you can make uh, donations, okay? Uh, I've been doing so many videos. I have not even paid a lot of that stuff, like really a, any attention until someone just recently made uh, a do uh, like a $10 donation, okay? So uh, for individuals to make those donations, all right, um, I will shout them out. Uh, on my uh, on my video and also if you have a channel a youtube channel or any kind of content okay that you're trying to get eyes on and stuff like that and you want to tell me uh anything about what your channel is about okay i will do a quick shout out uh not only for you but for uh your channel okay because i believe uh you know a lot of individuals are trying to get up and running everybody need a helping hand okay i wish it was something that i had uh in the beginning okay a uh, helping hand is always good so um uh yeah so uh, y'all check that out in the description. So um, uh, things are still uh, going good in my uh, opinion. Y'all know how I already feel about uh, the project. And uh, one of the things that we have coming up now, we have the uh, Certec audit uh, coming up. Okay, now I want to tell y'all this right here. We remember the uh, uh, the Certec audit uh, for you know uh, the like the SATA like SATA mass and all of that stuff. Uh, you know, uh, months back, right? Uh, we know that it was time consuming. We was time consuming. It was time consuming. And a lot of individuals, right, they did not have the patience for that. Now, the, one of the reasons why uh, Certec was time consuming was because, you know, Certec was looking at a lot of unconventional information. They were looking at a, uh, a, a more than the norm contract. They were looking at a contract that was uh, not of the norm it was a contract of, uh, you know, unconventional things that Saitama, uh, that Saitama devs wanted to do. Okay. Now, like I told y'all about uh, Certic. Okay. Certic is used to seeing a lot of these projects who copy and paste. Okay. They're used to reading basically uh, similar contracts all the time, the same contract. This is how it's so, uh, this is how a lot of those other projects get through Certic so fast because they make Certic's job easy for them. They make their job easy for them, okay? But uh, we were we were not going that route in the V1, okay? And, and with uh, Seda Mass, all right? And that gave uh, Certic a little bit more to look at, okay? This is why it took a little bit longer. And if we go back to also, go back to She, when She went through their Certic with, um, you know, Sheba Swap, and all that. Sheeb aimed to become, uh, you know, unconventional uh, in the conventional meme space. Okay, and look how long we had to wait for Sheeb. Look how uh, complex Sheba Swap was. Sheba Swap was real complex. These projects out here that are that are striving to become unconventional and do unconventional things. Okay, y'all have to understand that uh, Certic is not going to approach them the same way. Okay, Certic is going to have to actually do their job out here they're going to have to do more than the norm which is look at these copy and paste projects out here and just pass individuals like that and not even with flying colors they're not even passing with flying colors a lot of these individuals that go through these uh these uh certic these audits and stuff like that they have a lot of stuff to work on now when she went through their uh audit with uh sheba swap and all of that stuff okay they had uh things to work on but not a lot and this was after it took a long time and even afterwards okay when you know certic was like you know they had to fix some code code and all of that stuff it still took a little bit after after that also unconventional is good okay and this is the same thing that we've seen with uh uh saitama okay <coughs> sorry about that this is the same thing we've seen with saitama in the beginning and, we'll, and it will probably be the same thing that we see with uh, uh saitama in the v2 with Saitama V2 and with uh, Seda Pro, okay? These things are gonna become complex. We have complex situations, okay, uh, that Certic is dealing with with these uh, cryptos, okay? So I'm, I, I'm saying this to say this, we already know for the investors that have been around for a while, okay? And because the new investors, this is why I told the story of, uh, you know, uh, the V1 uh, version of Seda Mass, okay? 
uh, this is what we went through with Surtech. Now, uh, for individuals who have been following this uh, project for a while, okay, um, you know, you already know what to expect. Okay, you know what to expect. You know that everything was complex. Okay, so uh, now you know what to expect if we have, uh, you know, a, a delayed Surtech audit. You know, if if Surtech takes a while. If, uh, you know, everything comes back and, and the Saitama team has to fix a couple of things, we already know that it's going to be complex, okay, uh, to fix a lot, of these thing, a lot of these things. But maybe it will not be as complex since we have that 300 uh, man and woman team, okay, because I think things can get, uh, whatever they have to work on, uh, it should get done faster. It should get done faster because, remember, we had... We were working like with a one-man team. And look, that just cannot happen. We cannot have that when we're trying to scale up into the higher ranks, okay? We're trying to scale up. So um, we have the uh, we have the firepower right now uh, to deal with that. So, But just in case that happens, now you all know what to expect, okay? Because why? We have experience. This is what I talk about when I say experience. Experience is everything, okay? Experience, the proper experience, too. Because you can't have bad experience. Some individuals have bad experience. The proper experience is everything also, okay? Uh, the proper experience is, is everything because now uh, you know what to expect. You should be stressed less. And the, and the thing about stress less is this also, okay? Um, you have a lot of individuals, right, that stress who have actually been in the crypto game for a, a good little minute. This means that they have never learned uh, the lessons. This is this is uh, means that they have not never been properly educated. They do not know what they need to know. You cannot be in a crypto space and not know uh, what you need to know. At some point, you just have to, uh, you know, uh, self educate. You have to surround yourself with the uh, the proper educators, okay, and know what you need to know out here. All right, this if people that have been in for what uh, two, maybe three years that are still approaching crypto the same way in a negative light, okay? So you have to know what you need to know. You should not be, if you've been in crypto for a while, you should not be stressed, all right? For a lot of individuals that have been in crypto for a while who are still stressing, why are you stressing? Put down in the comments why you're stressing. I want to know, what is the reason you have not learned what you need to know, okay, in your last two or three years of crypto investing? Why are you still uh, stressing? Okay, you should have a grasp. You should have the big picture of what you need to know at least. Okay, and you should not be stressing when we get in the, when we get uh, misunderstood in uh, situations, misunderstood in the in, uh, situations like uh, delays and all of that stuff. All right, you should know what you need to know. But um, anyway, we have the Surtech uh, audit coming up uh, as well as uh, I think it's another audit also. It's going to be. It's going to be, I forgot the name of that audit, but it's going to be an audit coming up, then the Surtech audit. Both of those are going to be coming up. Uh, so I'm just uh, preparing you um, to uh, expect a long process maybe, okay? Not as long as the V1 because, like I said, we have a big team working on that now. So, uh, you know, everything should be smooth. If anything comes back that uh, the team has to work on or fix in the contract. All right, so um, I want to make this video. All right, and remember, okay, every now will be history tomorrow, and you either have patience in this crypto investing space or lose in the end, and you do not want to be a loser. This is my video. I will catch you all on the up and up. Howdy.